my YouTube. All right, so it's been a couple days. I'm gonna be going live tonight on TikTok at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so join me. If you wanna book a private reading with me, contact me through becomethestar1111 at gmail.com or on Instagram, becomethestar, all lowercase, all one word. Let's get into this. First card out, we got the lovers. Very nice. Got the lovers. Oh, we got the emperor in reverse. So let's see what's going on here. You know, it's interesting. I just was reminded to mention this. Last night, I felt really, really happy. In fact, I was doing all kind of crazy stuff last night. Like I got up and like made breakfast at like three in the morning and <laughs> weird. So I don't know what that's about. I don't know if somebody's like kind of going through some really, really nice fresh energy. But for whatever reason, I was just reminded about that. So let's see what kind of happens. Because I felt like some it meant something. I don't know why, but I, you know, I usually stay up late, you know, and do my thing. And I always shower before I go to bed. And I was like, you know, I was like in such a good mood. I was so happy. And it was like, like something's going on. I did get a few, few other messages too. So let's see what we get. All right, so we got the Seven of Cups here. I have to cover that Lover's card, by the way. Don't want to offend anyone with any sensitive eyes. Okay. I haven't used this one in a while. Okay, Lover's and Judgment, as well as the Seven of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Chalices in reverse. It's the underlying issue. All right, so let's let's figure this out. There is someone that has an attachment or a connection to another person. They may be seeing something that this person is doing. They could even be watching this person. I feel like it's like somebody's second guessing or somebody's second guessing a decision that they made about another person this could have something to do in reference to a king of chalices that is in reverse so somebody that could have been maybe misleading another person maybe they you know did something in order to try to create some level of doubt they try to create some doubt in another person okay That's what this is about. All right. More about this. This is that King of Chalices that I don't like in this deck because of the weapons that he has behind his back. Man, something's about to be exposed. That's what it is. Something's about to be exposed. Remove this here. Once somebody finds out about whatever this is, I feel like they're going to feel a little bit better. They're going to feel a bit free. It's kind of like one of them things where you have to kind of, you could be put into a position where you're unable to freely speak. You're unable to freely move. You're unable to freely make a decision. And there could be some reason behind it. And I feel like it has something to do with this King of Chalices in reverse. With this Sun in reverse and then the Six of Wands. It's bittersweet. It's bittersweet. Somebody's definitely going to find out something that another person may have done. Okay. We have the Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck here. So, you could find out that another person was um, doing something to doing something behind your back maybe they were kind of competing with you maybe they wanted something that you had okay maybe they're secretly fighting with you i don't know what their motive is it really could be it really could be like a a competition all right so interesting so let's say let's say you get a lot of attention from a lot of people 
um, and you have either a romantic partner or a friend, a colleague, a buddy, whatever that is around you that does not like that you get the attention. Okay. I'm not necessarily showing that it's something that you kind of, you probably don't even do anything. You know, the sun in reverse and the six of wands tells me it's something about you, you know, that, you know, you have maybe a certain confidence. Maybe you don't even realize it. You may not even see that side of yourself, but you probably get a lot of attention. And whoever this person is, maybe they don't like it. Okay. I feel like whatever it is about you comes natural. Because we have like three of these cards with all these people here. So something about natural, natural beauty, you know, natural appeal. Something about you could just plainly be natural, which, make, which makes you attractive. It makes people look at you. People recognize you. Okay. And that could be it. People like, you know, really, really pay attention to you for whatever reason. It could be a number of different things, you know, could you, I, it could be confidence. It could be something about the way that you do things, you know, something's really kind of like hammering this on the head. It could be just that you're a good person. You like to do the right thing. There is an element of that. And that could be very attractive or it could be very threatening or intimidating to another person. You know, let's say you're always doing the right thing. Let's say you have a friend that's always trying to do something shady. And you're like, you know, I wouldn't do that if I were you. And you're kind of like on their tail because, you know, you're trying to make them better because you think that being around them makes, well, you think that being around them, guiding them will make them automatically a better person. It's either going to go one of two ways. Either they're going to rise and meet you at their level or you're going to go down and, and they're going to drag you down to their level. Okay. Usually what happens is <sighs> you get dragged down unless you're very confident in yourself. Okay, so that's what you got. You got somebody who probably likes to drag another person down. Maybe they're jealous. Seven of Cups there, I feel like it could be a lot of jealousy or something like that. You know, I feel like somebody, I feel like it has a lot to do with somebody who notices you. Okay, but you don't intentionally draw the attention. It just naturally comes to you. Eight of Pentacles. Ooh, ten of swords. The bottom of the deck. No, 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 four swords. Yeah. So, it's like this. He's six of pentacles. It's like this saying, you know, always doing something, always, like, every day, working on yourself, you don't really compete with anyone else. You know, you compete with yourself to do, to do better. I hear that saying a lot. Me personally, I, I like, I don't even compete with myself. I don't compete with anyone. I don't compete with myself. Um, cause then it means I have to defeat somebody. I'm not going to compete with myself and defeat myself, but that's another story. <laughs> but I feel like that's what it is. Somebody just strives, strives to look at, you know, probably look at the bright side or look at the good in people, no matter how bad they are, no matter what. You may even know how this person feels about you. Maybe you've had a little, you know, somebody has been telling you, maybe you felt it. You felt that the energy's off, something like that. I'll cover that. That's what it is. Somebody feels like if they hang around somebody, they're automatically going to make somebody good or a good person, change them for the better. People got to want to. People got to want to. I feel like, you know, old habits die hard with whoever this person is. They're not coming along. They're not coming along. And that could be very, um, you maybe don't want to give up on this person. This could be a lover, could be a friend. It's a lover's card. So it's, it's a very strong attachment that you have to somebody. 
Maybe you feel like, you know, you always have to do something or help somebody or I don't really know what it is. Only you know what that is in you. Because for everyone, it could be something very, very different. Whatever this attachment is that you have to this person. Sometimes it's just history. Sometimes it's just history. You feel obligated because you've known them for 20, 30 years or more. Even if, even if it was just like a few years, six years. Sometimes people feel obligated for whatever reason. We're not obligated to anyone. People are either going to do good or they're not going to do good. They're either going to try to be a good person or they're not going to try to be a good person. They're either going to try to work or not try to work and earn things for themselves. Nothing that you can do about it. When their soul is called to change, then that's when it's going to happen. Chances are it's not going to be you. Not for a king of chalices in reverse, no. Not at all. I like it as, you know, sometimes, so you also have this. Sometimes it's like you, you inspire others. I, I, I love that, you know. I love that, you know, sometimes people look at me and they get inspired, you know, or by my words or whatever. I love that sometimes, you know, I'll look at other people, you know. Other people probably don't realize it, but they inspire me. So it's like this, this beautiful, you know, cosmic sequence. You could actually inspire this person to some degree, but maybe that inspiration kind of turned to something not so good. And they kind of fell back and went on, you know, went back to their old ways. Maybe you found them doing something wrong or shady behind your back. You may have actually trusted this person for a long time and realized, hey, secretly they're doing something behind my back. You know, it could be something like that. All right. I feel like, you know, whatever it is that you do for yourself or whatever it is that you put into yourself, you'll get it back with the right people. But I feel like you have to start clearing out certain people in your energy. You know, you may have to start with this person. This person might be the last person to clear out. It could be. This person is definitely very, very significant. They're very, very significant. All right. Some more. There you go. Got the magician. Ooh. <laughs> Got the magician. You are... There's different plans for you. There's something else for you. There's something else in the cards for you. This person could be dragging you down or bringing you down. Okay. So let's put this... Yep. At the moon here. So let's put this into layman's terms. <laughs> okay. Example. You have someone who... Let me think. Let's say you have somebody who is a secret friend. And, you know, they hang around you and they seem like they're always very, very helpful. King of Chalice is, you know, is someone who can be very emotionally, you know, available, very emotionally sound. Um, probably has good advice, probably very nurturing, very caring, understanding. In reverse, mm, they may present those things, but they have a secret evil agenda behind it. Okay? So let's say you have somebody that you think is a very good friend or somebody that's caring. And turns out they've probably been going behind your back telling other people lies about you. Okay? So you could have had opportunities with certain things. Maybe, you know, applying for a job. A romantic person that, you know, maybe you used to tell this person, yeah, I, I, I got the hots for this person, you know. Or, you know, anything, anything that you tell this person. They put it in the back, in their back pocket. And then when they have their opportunity, they pull it out. And then they may go to that person and say, hey, um, trying to plant seeds or something like that. Okay, it could be something like that. So let's say you let's say you wanted a job. Let's say you wanted a job. Let's say you work together at the same job. And you told them this person you wanted to uh, ask for a raise or whatever. And this person kind of goes behind the back. Let's say they're a mole and they go to the boss. And they and they say this is out of secrecy, but you know this person, you know turns out then you don't get the job and you're like why 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 do these things fall apart around me it could have something to do with this person 
So that's what I mean by energetically. You know, you've probably been unable to accomplish certain things, make your dreams into reality. That's what the, her that's what the hermit is. <laughs> that's what the magician is. You've been unable to bring things into your life that you want because somebody's been behind your back, sticking a knife in your back. Okay. Somebody that knows all your weaknesses too. You share all your weaknesses. You share your fears. I'm very funny about that. I remember talking, uh, you know, t you know, uh, sometimes there's like, when I used to be on Facebook, people would always do these things, you know, what is your worst fear, or, you know, blah, blah, blah. And you'd have all these people, you know, commenting what their fear is. And I'm like, telling people what my fear is. <laughs> out of your mind. Get out of your mind. Why are you telling people what you're afraid of? How do you know? Sometimes we're a little bit too open. Sometimes just to be heard or just to be funny. Sometimes not even realizing it. There's always somebody watching. And sometimes it's a person you least expect. So, think of it that way. Once you clear out this person, your luck's going to be turning around. Certain things are going to be changing in your life. You might even find out a lot more. You're definitely going to find somebody while you're putting into yourself, rather than putting into that person, you're definitely going to find somebody else who's actually going to be really balancing things for you. A more balanced friendship, a more balanced relationship. It's going to be if it's a romantic partner. It could be a romantic partner. You ever been in a romantic relationship with somebody or, or been in love with somebody? And, you know, they are jealous of everyone that looks at you, that talks to you. And let's say you're just kind of like, you're just kind of like sitting in a corner breathing and somebody likes you or somebody comes, comes over to talk to you just as a, in a, as a friend. Then they want to accuse you of everything. So then you feel like you have to kind of like, you're not allowed to kind of like talk to other people or you feel uncomfortable talking to other people because you don't want to be perceived a certain way. That person's kind of restricting your energy, restricting your movement restricting any kind of advancement and you're not even less you're not even doing anything you're just sitting there breathing you're just sitting there trying to you know make friends <laughs> and your romantic partner is like really really has that you know that choke chain on you they yank it they don't allow anyone to come near you or they're incredibly jealous maybe in public they act like you know they're they're cool with everything you go home and they're just like why was somebody why why was i don't like that person why were you talking to that person you know and it makes you feel uncomfortable and you want to be loyal to that person. So you try to respect them, you know? I've been in those relationships many, many years ago. I learned a lot. <laughs> and that could be what that is too. So once you clear out this energy, things are going to definitely change for you energetically. It may not be immediate. Well, it may not be immediate. Okay. A lot of times we let go of certain people and there's a period of loneliness because our energy has to clear. We go through sadness. We go through regret. We have to, unless we're able to transmute it and to put it into something else to kind of work on ourselves, it doesn't turn, that energy doesn't turn around as quick. It turns around quick when you're able to, okay, I see the bigger picture. You know what? That person probably wasn't good for me. I see the lesson in it. Yeah, it sucks, but I'm going to actually take that energy and rather than sit here and cry about it and, and, you know, just be depressed for months on end, I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to put it into something good and, you know, put it into myself, whatever it is that I've been holding myself back from, you're going to manifest quicker that way. If not, you got to go through the process. However, this attachment was, however strong this attachment was, it's definitely within the next year though, in the next year. There's definitely going to be something this entire year. Make this year count. Make it count. So it's up to you. Everyone knows who this person is in their life. Not all of us know who this person is in their life. If you don't know who this person is, you're going to find out very, very soon who this person is. You're going to find out who this hidden enemy is. You will very, very soon if you don't know yet. All right. That's it. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up and hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time I make a uh, post a load up. <laughs> Hit the notification bell. Hit the notification bell every time. <sighs>
Why am I? <laughs> Hit the like button. Drop me a comment. Hit the notification bell and subscribe to the channel. I'm just going to leave it at that. That's pretty much it. Come join me at, uh, on my TikTok live tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And um, that's pretty much it. See you on the next one.